You know, the 14th Amendment is an interesting one. And uh, often people say that if on the basis of that amendment, everybody who's born in the United States is automatically a United States citizen. Well, let's look at that a little bit more carefully. Uh, I think it says in there, and it has a little clause which usually is not looked at. The clause is, and subject to the jurisdiction thereof. So my question is this, supposing a person comes across the border, not, first of all, he comes here without permission, he comes here illegally, does he, by definition, intend to be subject to the laws of the United States? I don't think so. Uh, by virtue of the illegal act, he basically exclaimed, ex exclaims to us that, hey, I don't want to be subject to your laws. Well, consequently, the children that are born to these, uh, to the illegal uh, aliens in the United States should not be considered United States citizens because uh, they're not subject to the United States uh, jurisdiction. Uh, before you think that that's outlandish, let's look at the history. You know, the 14th Amendment was passed specifically to make the slaves U.S. citizens. Well, it had two exceptions in there. Uh, one was Indians. You know, Indians were born on U.S. soil, but yet they were not recognized to be United States citizens right off the bat. And they finally became U.S. citizens through the various treaties that the tribes made with the United States government. And the last of that only happened in the 1920s. Then there's another class of uh, people that are born uh, in the, on U.S. soil, but yet are not U.S. citizens. And that's true even today. Most people don't realize this. People who are diplomats, their children are not United States citizens. So even today, we already have what some people might say an exception to the 14th Amendment. Well, it's actually built into it. And the law we have now they already recognize that these people are not U.S. citizens. So I believe that we should uh, look into this more carefully and uphold to our the, the real meaning of the 14th Amendment. You know, I often hear criticism against that uh, by people who say, why should children be penalized for what the parents have done? Well, uh, that's the wrong way of looking at it. You know, there are always consequences for everything we do. and. Uh, if parents choose to do something that is not right, yes, there are consequences to that, and children always do pay a price for the decisions that the parents make. So let's look at the 14th Amendment carefully and realize that people who come here illegally, they don't intend to be subject to the laws of the United States.